Hi, Santiago from Upsafe here. In this video, we will be customizing the UI to make it more appealing. We will be adding a rarity attribute to our material items and show this rarity on the item views and in descriptions as attribute views. Here we have the scene from the previous tutorial with an inventory grid our equipment panel and a hotbar. We will be replacing the UI with this free asset on the asset store made by Ponetti. Let's get started. First, let's edit the panels. This is a standard Unity procedure, so we will be speeding up the video. As you can see, our panels are looking much better. We can press play to see it in action. Here we can see our items, but we have a little problem with the item description, which is being drawn above everything. Here, if we find our item description panel, we'll see that we have an item view slot panel to tooltip component, which is a component used to place the item description. Here we can place on select and show on select. We have this field here, set anchor position, which will set the anchor of our transform. So now, if we hover over the, our items, we will see that the item description is drawn to the right. We can actually change the anchor position and the anchor relative offset with these fields here. Now we have these item views for our weapons, armors, and materials, and we want to add an attribute value or show the attribute value. For example, show the attack for our weapon, show the defense for our armor, and show the rarity attribute that we will add to our materials. We can go to Tools, Opsiv, Ultimate Inventory System UI Designer. Here we will find our Atom View Drawer in the Inventory Grid. And we see that we are drawing an Item View for Grid, for Empty Slots, and for any item. Here we can select the component on the right, and we can start editing the category item view set. This is a scriptable object. We can add categories, for example, weapon, armor, and material. And we can create an item view prefab for each of those. The order here matters, and we must put the weapons, armors, and materials with a higher priority over the non-category. We can find our item view for grid by clicking, and we can duplicate it to make a weapon item view. Let's double click on the prefab. And as you can see, we have our item view with a few item view modules. We have a special tab here for item views in the UI designer. And we can drag and drop the item view here, which will let us add and remove modules. For weapons, we will remove this amount item view and add an int 
attribute item view instead. We'll put the attribute name to attack and select this amount and put it here. We will now show the attack instead of the amount of items. Let's save. We can duplicate this prefab for armor. And instead of attack, let's put defense. We can now create another one for materials. But currently, our items do not have a rarity attribute for materials. We'll need to add those later. First, let's not forget to add in our inventory grid here the prefabs we just created. We have for armor, weapon, and material. Let's first see that it works for armor and, and weapons. And as you can see, we're now have, or we are now displaying the attack and the defense of our items. We forgot to add or to set this set anchor position valid outside of play mode. So let's do that right now. And we can now add this new rarity attribute. Let's go here, create a new script called rarity. We'll delete everything. And make an enum called rarity. We'll add an option for common, rare, and epic. We need to make sure that this class is serializable. There you go. We can now go to tools, opsiv, ultimate inventory system, main manager, Find the item description for materials. Go inside the item definition attributes. And here we will add a rarity attribute. We can choose the type. But as you can see, the type rarity does not exist. This is because types do not get automatically added to the options here. We must manually add this rarity type that we created. Let's close the window, go to Tools, Opsiv, Unit Options. Here we can select the assemblies that we have. The ultimate inventory system is already put. And we have types. We can add a new type. Press the plus button and search for rarity. This is the new type we just added. Now that it is added, we can actually set it as a favorite type. This will make sure that it's added or it is shown in the attribute values at the very top. Now we can go to Tools, Opsiv, Ultimate Inventory System. Find in our item categories the material, rarity, and now the type shows here. Common, rare, and epic. Let's find our item definitions, and we can filter by category. 
by typing C colon and the category name which is materials of course I need to type it in the search bar and not the create bar there you go and let's set our rarity heal weed will be common magic powder epic epic rare common and common let's save go to UI designer inventory grid find our category item view set that we are using the material item view here that we can go in item view drag and drop our prefab such that we select it here and we will be adding a value to color item view this added this component here which we can add the attribute name to be rarity and we will add a different color depending on the rarity of this item we have three different rarities one for common we'll make it blue for epic we'll make it red and for epic we'll make it purple or pink we need to select an image that this color we will affect Let's create UI image. Let's place it behind the item icon. We'll call it Rarity Background. Drag and drop here in the image. And we can set a bit of the alpha down for now to preview a bit better. Let's save, make sure that everything is set up correctly. And now let's test it out. Inventory, and there you go. We have our materials, which are common. Here we have epic and rare. Now we want to add in the item description the actual value so that we can see it in text instead of color. To, this, to do this, we can add attribute views. We can find here in Tools, Upsave, Ultimate Inventory System, UI Designer, we can find our item description when you have one in the C and the item description is an item view so we can add here all the item view modules that we had before we have one already added which is this category attribute attribute view set item view module which allows us to add some attribute views depending on the item that is added here here we can add a field and add a category, which will be our material. And as you can see in item definition attributes, we have our rarity for our material. We can add here a attribute view set. Let's see if we have one. There you go. We'll duplicate it. We'll call it material rarity. We can select it here in the attribute view tab. 
drag and drop it and we see that we have a value attribute view. This will simply display our attribute value as text. We can remove this image here since we don't need it. And with this, we should be able to show simply our rarity. Let's close, save, go back to our item description where we have our material component. Go here and add the attribute view material rarity that we just created. And if everything is good, we should be able to see it in the description. Let's press play, open the inventory, select here, and we can see common, epic, and rare. Obviously, there's a little problem where the value is not shown in its entirety. So let's fix this real quickly. Open the prefab and let's make the rec transform a bit bigger. There we go, and put the text to fill in the entire thing. Let's press save, go back, go back in the scene, and make sure everything is good. Common, epic, and rare. There you go. I hope you learned something in this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.